2 Timothy 2 verse 4 to 5 says and I, and I read said no man that warreth entangled himself with the affairs of what? of this life that he may please who? him that what? so the reason he doesn't entangle himself Pastor Aguirre is that he needs to please somebody the person who sent him hello you know I was talking to one of my staff one day I said how um, I said you're not doing well I said I'm doing well sir I said sorry you know what I'm saying? He said, my brother, no. He said, ah, Jimmy said, I'm doing well. I said, I said, you are making a mistake. I said, it's not Jimmy you're supposed to please. Hello? You please me. So if I say you're not doing well, you are not doing well. Because I'm the person that what? That chose you. <laughs> oh, God. Listen to what he said. He said, and if a man also strive for masteries, Yet he is not crowned, except he does what? He strives out lawfully. Lawfully. <laughs> God is saying that, you see, you can do whatever you like, but because God is the final arbiter, he's the final referee, he will blow the final whistle. If you have not pleasing him, you are deceiving yourself. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? The whole world. The, you see, you need to read your scriptures and understand what God was trying to say. He was trying to value the whole real estate in this world. All the expensive houses in Abuja, in VI, in New York, in Miami, in Shanghai. He valued everything. He valued all the banks in the world. All the banks in the world. He put it down. He valued all the land in the world. He put it down. He valued everything on earth and said, how much is this? What does it gain, please? If you want, you gain all this and you lose what? 